What do you think I'm doing? Is he here yet? Huh? Where's Peter? The tribe's big hunt's gonna be awesome, isn't it? Click there. Come on, click. Where? Click there. Click there. All right already. I'm clicking. Students selected for the soccer team. Darling John! Yes, I'm in! <laughs> okay, ah. bravo. And I am not on the list. Well, you know, after all, that... That what? Well, you... You're a girl. So? Girls can't play sports? No, that's not it. But if we want to win the championship this year, we've got to have the best possible team, you know. And boys are automatically better than girls. Is that it? I didn't say that. But we're talking about sports, not... Not what? Sewing? Ironing? Oh, if I had my soccer cleats with me, you'd see what a poor, weak girl is capable of. Hey, everybody! Peter! Ready for the big hunt? I sure am. Me too. Yes, we'd better get going before I start kicking some butt. Really. Not this one. It's more a race than a hunt. You'll see. This is going to be great! All right, here we are, guys! <laughs> Agile Panther, you're in Group 1. Atana Wiseman, Group 2. Bob Cumming Fox, Group 1. Understood. We rush in and prepare to board from all sides at once. The plan of the century for the attack of... Uh, the century! Well, technically, Captain, we don't prepare to board on dry land. Uh, uh, except when one is the greatest of all pirates, of course. <laughs> prepare to... Silence, you slimy squid. Huh? Come on, guys. The big hunt is about to start. What are they doing here? These preventers are prepared to board So I can't take part in the big hunt? That is so unfair. Those are the rules, Lily. If I chose you, it would be favoritism. Ah, you see? It's the same thing here. Girls can't participate in the same games as the boys. Girls? But you're wrong, John. Lily isn't allowed to take part because the teams are made up of only three hunters, and the two teams are already complete. Ha! Great chief! Is the great hunt only for members of the tribe? No. Everyone is welcome, Peter. Yes! Yeah! We can all participate! Perfect! Who will team up with me? Me, if you'll have me. No! Your team is Tinkerbell and me. <gasps> Peter, John, and Michael are going to make up a boys' team, and we're going to show them what girls are capable of. Um, I'm not sure I want to play, really. It looks exhausting, your treasure hunt thingy. That's true. The Big Hunt's no game for a teensy-weensy little fairy. What?! Show you what a teensy little fairy can do, you big green tree frog. We're gonna squash decay you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Perfect. I solemnly declare that the tribe's great treasure hunt has begun. Yeah! Yeah! Attack! They're going to hunt for treasure. Treasure? And we shall hunt them. <laughs> and we shall hunt them. <laughs> I keep coming up with the world's greatest plans today. <laughs> Here is the list of everything you must bring back. Go quickly. The treasure awaits. And do not forget, Peter, Tinkerbell, you are not allowed to fly. Are you ready? Go! Yeah! 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 There's no way we can win. I don't have huge clunky feet. You're right. Female solidarity. Climb up on my shoulder. Yeah! Giddy up, cowgirl! Don't push it. The first treasure we must find is a toucan's feather. Awesome! The boys are so heavy-handed that they'll frighten off all the toucans. They won't even be able to approach them. Pirates to the fore! The treasure awaits! Like all birds, toucans fill their nests with feathers. We have to climb up there? 
Climbing is easy. You don't even have to fly. Be careful, Peter. <laughs> they're so fast. But they're not thinking. Toucans are always losing their feathers. They only gather them afterwards to build their nests. Hmm. Uh... Oh. Got him! It's easy when you're close to the ground. Yes! Girls one, boys zero! Hey, my feathers! Tinkerbell, no! Oh, if you fly, oh. we'll lose! But he stole my feathers, that nasty stuffed bird! I'm gonna smash to get him! Don't get mad. Honey works better than vinegar. Deal that toucan feather stealing toucan. Nice one, Lily. Ooh. No flying necessary. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Quick. We're getting a lead on them. In your dreams. Just what is this foolish way of hunting treasure? Perhaps it's just a game, Captain. Don't be ridiculous, me. A treasure is never a game. Treasure is serious business. Captain, I found the treasure. <laughs> That's not the treasure, you sardine head. Who'd want a stinking feather? I can walk with the treasure, Captain. Are you sure we have to go in there? It's only in this cave that we can find the xylo shells. But it's dark in there. And girls are afraid of the dark. Everyone knows that. We're gonna crush them in this part of the quest. Hi, boys. See you later. Oh. Hey, they're not scared. Well, well then, me neither. Me neither. Wow, it really is dark in here. Watch where you step. Okay, let's split up. We'll have a better chance of finding a shell. Psst, girls, I can make some light. Hey, no cheating! How do we know if we find a xylo shell? Everybody knows the shape of a xylo shell. It's round and shiny, right? Nope. That's just a pinch off. Watch your fingers! Ah! Ah! It almost bit me! <laughs> you hear that, Captain? There's a ghost! <laughs> if there's a ghost, there must be a treasure. Onward, you flock of wet seagulls! <laughs> a ghost? Hmm. That is really spooky. It's really pitch dark. We'll never find anything. Wait, I have an idea. I found a xylo shell. Nice one, Wendy. Let's go before John breaks our eardrums, squealing like a girl. Like a boy, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're mocking us. Toodles. Toodles. See you later. See you later. <laughs> There's nothing here. Yeah, they're all ugly. All ugly? Yeah, you can feel them. I found one crooked triangle, and then another crooked triangle, and, and Michael, another... Michael, just take any of them, and let's get out of here. Huh? OK. Excuse me. No worries. That's funny. One of the natives has exactly the same voice as Dagon. <laughs> the ghost. Have you found the treasure, Captain? Look there on the <gasps> ground. Shiny. It, it's pretty. Let me throw you a scurvy seagull. The native treasure will be mine. Oh, that's the reason. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh that hurts. Oh, oh not there. Oh, oh, that's enough. Go, Peter. We're going to win. Come on, Wendy. Faster. Come on. Stop. 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 Ah! Ah! We're trapped. Where are the other teams? Look, one team passed through here less than five minutes ago. They went the long way around. The others, I don't know. What do we do? Should we go around too? Good idea. Let's not take any unnecessary risks. We'll go around and pick the hunt back up on the other side, okay? Oh, so we're not in a race anymore? Wendy is right. It's safer. Yes, yes, that's true. Let's go around. And above all, no unnecessary risks. We go slowly, but surely. We'll meet up on the other side. See you later, boys. Bye. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> it's silly to go round. I thought we were supposed to show them that we're the best. That's just it. We are the best, because we're the smartest. Right, Lily? Exactly. While they go around, we're going to climb up there, pass over from that branch to that one, grab that vine, swing over to there, hop onto that branch, and we've made it. I'm wondering if I wouldn't prefer going the long way around after all. Ha! They are such girls! Going the long way around when, with a bit of muscle, you can take anything on. Um, right? Come on! Uh, just give it a bit more elbow grease! Come on, this way. I'll climb up and weigh it down! way around that. Look, just because we're boys and stronger than you doesn't mean we can't also have a plan, you know? Stronger? That skinny little trunk is all rotten and hollow. <laughs> Look, they're cheating! The rule said no flying! But they're not flying, they're gliding. But we'd better run. Let's get a move on. <laughs> You scurvy! Play cost here, Captain. Well, that means that my, um, the treasure is on the other side. After them. Just don't look down. Why not? What's down there? Oh, mommy! choice. Either bring back pollen from the silphy or the corolla flower. We're gonna have to take on the corollas. If we were gossip mongers like the girls, we could handle the silphies. Do you really but... think we should go to the corolla flowers? Do they have giant pollen or normal pollen? Because if it weighs a ton, we're going to have trouble carrying it. And then, you know, we don't really know what we're gonna do. So do you think we should take on the corolla flower? Uh. <laughs> Come on, Michael. We have an idea. If we dare put a foot on those Corolla flowers, they'll lock us in. Depends on which foot. Huh, what's my foot got to do with it? Go, Go on, on, Michael. Michael. Uh, hi there. What are you listening to? Oh, what are you doing here? Do you like music? What kind of music? Are you staying with us? Well, I'm looking for Corolla pollen. Or your pollen. What do you want with pollen? Do you want some petals too? Uh-oh, we may have made a mistake. What happens if Michael can't get a word in? With the silphies, anything can happen, but never anything good. 
calling yourself? Uh -huh. Calling for bees? How many stripes do they have? You mean black stripes or yellow stripes? Because I don't like black, but I do like yellow. Mom says canaries are yellow, like egg yolks are yellow, and they're ochre as well. But if an ochre canary lays an egg, what color would the egg yolk be? Yellow? Ochre? It's like the turquoise blue. It isn't really blue. It's really just like a shade of green. And coat, what kind of color is that supposed to be? Is it even a color at all? Here, take the pollen. We give up. Please stop asking questions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good, Good job, job Michael. Michael. Hmm. Easy now. You see that, Mr. Smee? I told you so. The gold dust is right there inside of the flower. Fantastic. Tinkerbell is so light that the flower doesn't know she's there. That's just like us girls. We're graceful and delicate. Not like those rambunctious boys. I don't know who these boys here are, but they'll still be stuck in there when we win the big hunt. <laughs> Do something, Mr. Speed. I ate flowers. Oh, I think we have to hop into the center cabin to make him open. Oh, it's none of my news, you scallywag! They must be arriving at the test of courage about now. Bring back a scale from the swamp monster? Exactly. This is his hibernation period. They'd need a brass band to wake him up. But they don't know that. Well, what are you waiting for? I thought boys were supposed to be the brave ones. Brave, yes, but not stupid. You're going to have to prove that to me. I'm going in. Huh? We've faced every trial in this treasure hunt so far. We're close to the prize. I'll go. You hear that? The prize. The treasure is in there. Pirates, the treasure is ours. <laughs> you, tell me where the treasure is. Treasure? What treasure? We have to bring back a scale from the swamp monster, but quietly. What monster? Captain! <laughs> I got the treasure! <laughs> Hunt gold. I present this monster scale in the name of all the teams. It was fun, was it not? But who won then? The boys or the girls? This was a great treasure hunt. So why must there be a winner? You are all winners. <laughs> now we all get to share the treasure together. <laughs> Hmm. 
That's probably not the treasure the pirates were dreaming of. But after all that running around... It's the most precious of treasures. I call dibs on the cookie jar! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is he still there? Shouldn't we sing him a lullaby so he'll go back to sleep, Captain? Treasure hunt. Michael's right. And what's more, you almost won. Us? Poor defenseless little girls? You know, with a co-ed soccer team, we could easily win the championship. Still have to convince the coach of that. We'll just go have a chat with him, as a team. <laughs> about it. Got a bad grade on his oral presentation. But it's not fair. <sighs> My presentation was perfect. You mean, other than the fact that you did it alone when it was supposed to be a group project? That was just to save time. Mm -hmm. Hello, darling. Hi, Hi Peter. Peter. Hi there, friends. How's everyone doing? Well, actually... The Captain Muscles 2 DVD arrived today. No kidding. That's awesome. Tinkerbell, quick, fairy dust. <laughs> We have to go watch it in Neverland, like right now! You see? Now that's the kind of reaction I was expecting! John, I'll take the DVD and you deal with the rest, okay? <laughs> Come on! Hurry up! And I guess this time Synapse is even meaner. But that doesn't matter because Captain Muscles, well, he's just too strong for him. Yeah, but last time we kicked Synapse's butt. And Captain Muscles always takes a while to win. Um, yeah, but that's because it's like a movie, and, um... Anyway, that synapse was funny. You think he'll come out of the movie like last time? It would be cool to see him again. I don't think you really get the whole concept of movies. <laughs> Can't wait to watch it. We'll set everything up super fast, and then... But we're going to do it carefully, because it's a new projector, and it's very fragile. I can't wait! I have some great news for you today. We're gonna watch a movie. Captain Muscles 2! <laughs> That's it. Never again. That's the last time I follow you. We get lost every single time. Enough is enough is too much. That's not true. Not every single time. Sometimes I... Go the wrong way? No, I... Lose your way? If that's how you're gonna be, you can just find your way back to the Jolly Roger by yourself. I'm staying right here. Oh, stop pouting already. I was just kidding. What are you going to do all by yourself in a cave? Well, I'm just going to sit on this treasure, and when I'm done, maybe I'll come home if I feel like it. What did you say you would sit on? It's obvious, isn't it? This treasure. Treasure? We found treasure? We have to tell Hook right away. We're going to be his favorite pirates really? forever. <gasps> Hurry, we have to get going. Uh, the exit's uh, this way. Huh? But I thought we were lost. Yeah, so did I. Wait for me. I'll take a few gold coins, or Hook will never believe us. <laughs> How wrong you were to get in my way, Captain Muscles. You need to be stopped, Synapse. You're crazy. I am not crazy. 
crazy. That's like so not true. Synapse, I've got you now. You're as trapped as a rat. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Huh? <gasps> Drop that vial immediately. Why, of course. Here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Everyone is a fan of Captain Muscles in, um, where am I exactly? You're in Neverland. Never heard of it. It must be some hole in the middle of nowhere. All because of you, Synapse. What did you concoct this time? Hey, don't look at me. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Aha, but that, I do have something to do with that, I have to admit. Sienna, are you okay? What's the ma- uh. Hey. Ah, oh, this situation is to be handled carefully, young man. So just step aside and let a professional deal with this, okay? So, miss, Captain Muscles is here to save you. Everything will be perfectly fine. Oh. Sienna, wait! Hey there, kid. Get back here! Hey, what's the matter with you? If you don't know how to fly, young man, try walking. Me? I don't know how to fly. Are you kidding me, you silly grown-up in pajamas? Uh -huh. Hey, you two. Arguing with each other isn't going to help Sienna. And since no one has seen the movie, we don't even know what that serum does. She might be in real danger. <laughs> She's not the only one. You're all in danger. All of you! <laughs> it's never a good sign when he does that. <laughs> well, that's it, Captain. Go on. You can dip your feet in now. Huh? But it's too hot! Yes, yes, yes. It's too hot now, and in a little while, it'll be too cold. You always make excuses not to wash yourself. Captain! Captain! Yes? What? What is it? it must be a matter of utmost importance calling for me, and I absolutely can't ignore it, now can I? <laughs> well, I'm listening. Go on. Well, actually, we got lost in the cave, because uh, it was really deep and dark because there wasn't much light, so we got lost. But, Captain, when we got lost, we found some treasure. And there's more. I took more, but they fell from my pockets as we ran back here. Treasure? Did you hear that, Smee? There's treasure. That's a real good excuse, is it not? Well, then let's... Uh... Ah! It's too hard! Okay, we have to find Sienna before she does something super dangerous. Yes, but if we knew what that was, it would be easier to find her. We just have to ask. Uh. Hey, how is it that he's still here? Maybe it's because of the new projector, because it uses different technology than the last one. Or maybe because Mira, Baby, and Chubbs are still pedaling. <sighs> We'd be perfectly happy to stop. No, keep going. We have to ask him a few questions. Ooh. Okay, Synapse, listen up. Let me handle this, child. I'm used to speaking to this little devil. Out of the question. Mira, Chubbs, and Baby, you keep peddling. String Bean, Maya, and Cynthia, you go to the Never Tribe Village and see if Sienna went that way. Peter and the others, you search the forest. Whoever finds Sienna first, bring her here where she will be safe. I'll deal with the sneaky worm. Got it? Yeah. You shouldn't. You don't know what our sister's capable of. Okay, Wendy, we're off. Okay, but we'll stay in contact with this thing. Professional gear. Come on, there's no time to waste. Now, let's talk, microbe. Aha! Can you believe it, Mr. Smee? These two knuckleheads found treasure! Treasure! Hey, we're the knuckleheads. Yes, but 
Don't think for one second that this will excuse you from your foot bath. I'm warning you, Synapse. If you try to get out of your little screen, Chubbs and Mira will stop pedaling and you'll simply be stuck between two worlds. <laughs> Are you kidding? Cortex City is finally rid of that big dummy Captain Muscles. And I'm going to do all I can so he never comes back. <laughs> so, that was your plan, huh? Of course not. My plan was to make a serum that would intensify all of Captain Muscle's faults. <laughs> that way, people will hate him as much as I hate him. <laughs> Did you get all that? Loud and clear. Thanks, Wendy. What a silly plan. What fault of mine could it possibly intensify? I could make <laughs> you a list if you'd like. Why don't we think about Sienna's faults, hmm? She's a thief, for starters. A thief? And you're friends with her? Well, I won't give you any praise for that. So Sienna likes anything shiny. And she loves gold. Wow. Wowzers. Let's follow that gold train. <laughs> now, where is this famous treasure? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this way. Uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> I admit it. I didn't believe it was true. Ah, look at all the gold. It's gold. Look at the gold. <laughs> it's mine. Uh, um, oh, oh, no, my dear Sienna. You realize that you're all alone and that there are seven of us pirates. Sienna! Stop! Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey, Sienna, chill out, okay? Whoa, what happened to you? Did you eat a whole lot of veggies or something? You really grew a lot. Sienna, if you let us, we can help you. If you let me handle it, I can kick her butt. Will you just stop it? <laughs> Deep down, Sienna's nice. The only reason she's like this is because of Sinan. Yeah, of course. It would be a whole lot easier if you wouldn't always get in my way. <laughs> Now let's get up, get out there, and find her before... Before she destroys all of Neverland! That's gonna be a tall order! And the treasure is safe and sound! <laughs> really, Captain, you're not going to keep it all to yourself, are you? That's hey. right, Captain! <laughs> you're not going to keep it all to yourself, are you? Oh no! Oh. You gotta do something! Hey, are you alright? What's going on? What's going on is that Sienna's become a giant! A giant? How big a giant? A giant, like I'm shaking the Jolly Roger like it's just a toy giant. You know, a giant! <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Certainly, a side effect. Wendy, <laughs> you really need to find an antidote. I'm on it. Yeah. 
Don't worry, kids. I can handle this. No, I'm in charge here. You're both going to handle this together, got it? You're both heroes, and heroes don't argue. They save people. Mm -hmm. So now, Peter, you're going to help the ones in the sails. And Captain Muscles, you're going to take care of the ones on the deck. <laughs> okay? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I've got you. Hold on tight. Honestly, sir, how dexterous you are. How strong. How intrepid. Come on, don't. I'm just doing my superhero job. I'm as light as a butterfly. <laughs> thank you, Peter. You've been fantastic. Oh, don't thank me, Chulin. Some people make such a big deal about saving someone, but honestly, it's nothing, really. <laughs> I'll show you a big deal. <laughs> yeah, well, there's saving and there's saving. Cause some also think they're smarter than... <laughs> oh. 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 Ah. Tinkerbell! Yeah, well, a fairy's help isn't exactly fair. Hey, we're flying! Wind. You should put a sweater on, kid. <laughs> what about your... Ah! Help! That was spectacular. Worthy of a super... Uh, Grown-up. Well, I'm not like a baby pan who needs his... Mommy! Oh. Ah. The captain. The captain is still trapped in there. Uh. Ah! Ah! Wendy, you really need the antidote. Yes, mm, at the tip of my fingers. Come here, you stinking little brat. Let me go. No, me first. Yeah. No, no, me. Oh no, they're still arguing like cats and dogs. Ah. Uh... I prefer behind the scenes. Come now, don't you want to see Cortex City in person? It's sewers. I can even promise you a visit to the depths of the harbor. No! <laughs> Never! How about we do it? No! <gasps> That's it! We got it! Great! Can we... Can we stop now? Definitely not. We have to send Captain Muscles back home first. Hmm. I'm sick of your endless arguing. You might be good individually, but it's always better to be part of a team. And this is coming from John. I've got it. You guys, I've got the antidote. Yeah, awesome. Superb. And I have an idea how we can all get her to swallow this. Charge! John, <laughs> catch! Michael! Captain Muscles! Hey, Sienna, your turn, sweetheart. Hi there!
Thanks, Peter. I prefer being this size. <laughs> Me too. Bravo! <laughs> yeah! Who's the greatest ever? The cap! The cap! The cap! The cap! cap, cap Who's the greatest ever? The cap! The cap! cap the cap! cap, cap, cap Not bad, kid. Not bad. Not as good as a super grown up. What about me? Don't I count? <laughs> <laughs> He's really, really frozen. Hmm. It's too bad you can't come with us, kid. I could use a young partner. Me? A young partner? Hmm. Nonsense. A young partner is very important, Mr. Super Pan. Almost as important as finishing the film. <laughs> Put her there. Okay, then. Have fun, kids. I have some work to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, where did you think you were going with all these boxes? Time to pay for your crime, Synapse. And here's the bill. Gah! Max? Yeah, it's John. I'm sorry about the bad grade, but I have an idea how we can catch up. What do you say we do another presentation? And this time, really as a group? <laughs> <laughs> 